Hey there, it's Stefan from the Contentful Developer Relations team. In this episode, I want to show you how you can set up preview or staging environments and how you can then integrate these into the Contentful web app. So let's just do that. So personally, I like to try out Contentful features on my personal website. So let's see what my site currently looks like. This is my site and it's built with Nuxt.js, which is based on Vue.js, which I'm a huge fan of, by the way. It's statically rendered via a build process and every navigation after the initial load is handled by JavaScript. So let's just go, for example, to the block section now and open the network panel of the DevTools and see that the requests are going against cdn.contentful.com. Contentful in total offers four APIs, the Content Delivery API, the Content Management API, the Content Preview API and the Images API. The one you see here is the Content Delivery API, or in short, CDA. It's read-only and uses a globally distributed content delivery network so that your content is served from a server as close to you as possible. This keeps the latency low, guarantees fast response times, and it can also handle a ton of requests. So you're really ready to scale using the CDA. If you want to read more about the CDA, you can head over to the documentation or Google Contentful CDA, and you will find all the information you need. The thing with the CDA, though, is that you only retrieve content that is published. So when you create new entries or have soon-to-be-published changes, you won't see them in the API responses. This means that you can't preview your content before it goes into production using the CDA. To solve this issue, we provide the Content Preview API, or just the CPA. The CPA will also return your soon-to-be-published entries and changes and it is the perfect solution for preview environments. So how does this work in detail? Let me show you my preview environment. As it's just me working on my personal website, I don't have a separated environment available in the cloud. But my local development environment on localhost 3000 uses the CPA instead of the CDA. So when I navigate around here, you already see that there are more entries available on the blog section. These are the articles I'm currently working on. They are not ready for publishing. Yet. The local setup works totally fine for me, but you can also set up your own staging or pre-production environment in the cloud and control which API to use with environment variables or config files or something like that. Let's have a look at how I implemented the preview API. To do that, I'm opening my editor to show you some code. What you see here is a JavaScript file that handles the communication with the Contentful APIs and creates the Contentful SDK client. By default, the client uses the CPA and that's why it's initialized with the token coming from the environment variable CTFCPA token and also is using the host preview.contentful.com. This is my development preview environment. Afterwards, I check if I'm in a production environment by reading out the node-env environment variable. And if so, a different host, cdncontentful.com, is used. By the way, if you don't want to use the different APIs, cdncontentful.com is also the default value if you don't define a host property in the options object. So, when I'm building the production site, node-env will be set to production and the content delivery API will be used, otherwise it's the preview API that will be called. In case you wonder where you find all the different tokens, head over to the API section in the web app. you find all of them there. So this is all it takes to make my local environment preview ready. But let me show you that this actually works. So add entry, today I learned post. And let's put something in here. How to set up a preview environment. Give it a description, give it a date, set some categories, and this should be enough. And I'm not going to hit publish now. So when I'm now heading back to my preview environment, aka my local development environment, I can navigate to the Today I Learned section and view my draft. Pretty sweet. There's one more thing though. Let's have a look at the entry we just created. I now know that I have a preview environment available. But when you're working in bigger teams with editors, these folks don't necessarily know where they can preview their stuff. And there's nothing in the editor telling them where to go. So let's fix that and improve the editor experience. I now go to Space Settings, Content Preview. And you see that you can create content previews. So let's see what this is about and create a new preview. Okay, 
It's asking for a name, so let's call it today a learn post and a description, preview in your local environment. And finally, it's asking for a content type. This preview should be available for. Okay, so let's check today a learn post. I now can enter a preview URL. The thing is that we at Contentful can't know what you're building with the APIs and we can't know what your environments look like. So you have to define the URLs yourself. There's an explanation to the right side, which already tells us that we can use the given fields of the particular entry inside of the URL. So let's quickly go back and see how the URL structure looks like for the Today I Learned post. Okay, so it's localhost, Today I Learned, and I know that this last part is the Slack property of this entry. What's pretty neat now is that I can access this value inside of the URL field using Curly's entry field and the property name I want to use. So Slack in this case. Cool. And that's it. So let's hit save and go back. And now, as you can see, I've got a new preview button available that brings me to my local environment when I click on it. Great. This way you can easily improve the experience for editors and show them where they can preview their content. And that's it for today. I showed you how you can use the Content Preview API to build staging environments and how you then can integrate these environments into the Contentful web app. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you have any feedback, please let me know. So, see you next time.